air cushioned vehicle, not a boat, not a plane, but a very interesting combination of many of the advantages of both water and aircraft. Riding on a cushion of air, they operate over water or over land at speeds of up to 80 miles an hour. Without the air cushion, they are perfectly at home in the water, much like a boat. With their speed, maneuverability, and amphibious features, it was only a matter of time until the United States Coast Guard became interested in them. It wasn't a question of what the ACVs could do, for they have been in use for several years operating daily ferry service in many parts of the world. The question was, what could they do for the Coast Guard? In 1969, one used model SK-5 vehicle was obtained from the manufacturer for preliminary evaluation. To the crew at the St. Petersburg, Florida Air Station, this unusual craft was indeed a strange sight almost as wide as it was long, with rudders and propeller like a plane, and a hull that looked a little like a boat. From there on, it resembled nothing like they had ever seen before. The one man who had been trained to operate the unusual craft was a veteran flight officer, and it wasn't long before its strange sounds and movements became routine. Daily flights took the vehicle into the waterways of Tampa Bay. Along, over, and across beach areas. into lush Florida marshlands. This first machine did its job so well that today the Coast Guard has a fully staffed evaluation unit with a fleet of three vehicles to conduct a two-year operational study of these versatile machines. Completely rebuilt and wearing bright new paint with distinctive Coast Guard markings, they will see service from the Golden Gate of San Francisco north to Point Barrow and on to the Great Lakes and East Coast. Always looking for ways to do their jobs faster, better, and at reduced cost, the Coast Guard is trying out ACVs in several different types of operations. One of the most likely areas where they can be of real help is in search and rescue. Their speed and cruising range can bring help minutes or hours sooner to pleasure boatmen in distress in inland or near offshore waters. Like a rescue boat, they can be brought alongside to transfer people or put emergency equipment aboard or to pass a line for towing a disabled boat to safety. Boats up to 44 feet long have been towed in both actual rescue cases and in tests. Its boat-like qualities also make the air cushion vehicle an excellent craft for recovering survivors from the water. Downed pilots, victims of boating accidents or other emergencies can be located and taken aboard at the bow ramp. With the survivor on board, 
the air cushion vehicle can make a 60 miles per hour run to its own base or can radio ahead for an ambulance to meet them at the nearest beach area. In another entirely different type of operation, ACVs are being used to service buoys and other aids to navigation. Instead of sending a boat or large tender with a full crew on a day-long trip to make minor repairs to a buoy or light, the ACV with two crewmen and an aids to navigation specialist does the job in two or three hours. This same technique can be applied to emergency repair or resupply of light ships and isolated light stations. Ferrying of personnel, both on a routine basis or to emergency areas, is another role for the ACVs. Already they have been called on to carry observers, technicians, and bales of straw to beach areas threatened by an oil spill from a collision of two ocean-going tankers. Since they have radar for night and foul weather navigation, and the latest in electronics and communications equipment. The ACV serves well as a miniature command post for isolated emergency areas, ashore, or afloat. To further evaluate the ACV for its future role in the Coast Guard, one vehicle with its crew has operated in the frigid half-light of winter at Point Barrow, Alaska. Its ability to skim across rough terrain at high speeds, carry five or six men or half a ton of cargo, and stop almost anywhere has again proven it is a most versatile vehicle for high-speed transportation over land, water, and ice. air cushion vehicles will be used in the Coast Guard is yet to be determined. But for now, their usefulness seems to be limited only by the imagination of the men who find a need for them.